this thing growing inside me. Uh. I've been fighting it for six hard years. Uh. Dr. Amaral was developing a cure for the Cronon syndrome. She was the only one who could administer the treatments that kept my sickness at bay. Paul? And Jack had taken her away from me. How the fuck did this happen, Morton? How is it possible they managed to take her? Paul, this is your illness talking. I'm on your side. Ugh. Easy, you They took her. Without Sophia, there's no chance of a cure. We did all we could. But there are forces within Monarch working against you, and I believe Burke was just the tip of the iceberg. It wasn't just Joyce that did this. Uh, sir? Uh, we've recovered Dr. Amaral's laptop. We have it set up over there if you want to take a look. I'll be right there. Oh, someone's gotten all fucking sassy. I want to go over Sophia's figures. If she's right, the fracture is escalating a lot faster than we anticipated. You know the future. Dr. Emerald doesn't. Is the lifeboat even in a viable state for activation? She's trying to convince you the schedule's wrong. Why? To get you to rush this? To make a mistake? The people opposing you. She could be one of them. She isn't. Are you willing to bet the entire plan on that? I implore you, hold off on activation, Paul. Let me clean house before this gets completely out of hand. How do you want to proceed? Somebody was working against me. <clears throat> Somebody close. Martin Hatch, Sophia Amaral. I could only trust one of them. It's a hard one. I'm apprehended. Immediately. So I have some information about Martin Hatch. Martin had been my closest advisor for years. I began to wonder if that had been a mistake. Sophia's loyal. She's always been loyal. I don't think we can trust her. The way she looked at the countermeasure like she's seen it before. She knows what it does. Sophia's research had saved my life. Loyalty doesn't run any deeper. All right, Amaral. Let's go fix the time machine. I said I'll try. Evidence was mounting against Sophia. I couldn't simply ignore it, despite everything we had been through. But she knew you'd never make it without those treatments. And then she took them away. If she turned against me with what she knew, the damage could be immeasurable. <clears throat> Ooh, this is gonna be a hard one. You know what? I know who I'm gonna pick, and I have an explanation for it, too. You're right. We need to stick to the original plan. Whether Sophia's date is good or not, we can't deviate from that. Clearly, we have been compromised. Put a team together. Find out who she's been working with. Actually, I've already got something on that front. They just pulled this from the security feed. My god, it's her. Who? Her, Martin. She's one of our employees. How the hell? We got too big for you to screen everybody personally. We didn't have an idea on her until now. Beth Wilder. She's one of our operatives. We've already got a kill team after, but... We won't be able to kill her. Not yet. How can she be working with Jack? How does she even know him? I told you, Paul, we can't trust our own people. Who knows how deep this goes? Find out. Yes, find out, motherfucker. Beth Wilder. It was the first time I'd heard her name. But she had been there, 
in the past. When it all started. She'd been here the whole time, working against me from the inside. And she wasn't the only one. Alright, well, okay. I know we saw a lot of stuff in the last actual major episode. Um, only reason I picked Hatch was because I wanted to see how the story would unfold, knowing that Paul doesn't really know a lot of the things that Hatch has done and what he has done to also help Jack even to escape. But I wanted to pick it just to see where the story goes um, from Paul's point of view. And I really hope that you guys enjoy the choice and enjoy everything that's been going on. And I will see you guys in the next video. Leave a like if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel if you like everything that we're making. Talk to you guys later.